Today, we learn about kinds of artificial satellites. Many man-made satellites are orbiting the Earth. These are called artificial satellites. Artificial satellites are very important for mankind. Used to study the Earth, the solar system and the universe. To take the satellite to their orbits, staging rockets and launching pad is being used. Once placed in orbit, the satellite is lifted from the Earth's surface by a rocket and once placed in orbit, maintains its motion without further rocket propulsion. History Sputnik 1 on October 4, 1957, Russia sent the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, into space. The name comes from a Russian word for traveling companion of the world. It's weighted just 83 kg. Explorer 1 Explorer 1 was the first satellite launched by the United States of America. It was sent into space on January 31, 1958. It weighed only 14 kilograms. Explorer 1 sent information about the radiation environment in Earth orbit. Kinds of artificial satellites Science has sent many satellites that move around the Earth. These satellites help scientists to learn about weather and many more things on the earth. Geostationary Satellites A geostationary satellite is an earth-orbiting satellite placed at an altitude of approximately 36,000 km directly over the equator that revolves in the same direction the earth rotates west to east. Landsat Satellites The first Landsat satellite was launched in 1972. Landsat satellites are a series of a satellite mission. Landsat satellites have collected information about Earth from space. Landsat satellites have taken photographs of Earth's continents and surrounding coastal regions. Communication Satellites a communication satellite is an artificial satellite have a great effect on our daily life. Communication satellites are commonly used for mobile phone signals, weather tracking or broadcasting television program. Communication satellites that relay receive signals from an earth station and then retransmits the signal to other earth stations. It creates a communication channel between a source transmitter and a receiver at different locations on Earth. Communication satellites are used for television, telephone, radio and the internet. Polar Satellite The Polar Satellite was launched on February 24, 1996 by America. Polar Satellite studies atmosphere of the Earth in polar orbit after every 18 hours. The polar satellite will help scientists to protect future satellites from atmospheric danger. Following are some examples of artificial satellites. Satellite TV Weather Satellite GPS Global Positioning System Satellite television is a service that delivers television programming to viewers by relaying it from a communication satellite orbiting the Earth directly to the viewer's location. The first satellite TV systems were an absolute type, now known as television receive only. Weather satellite. The weather satellite is a type of satellite that is primarily used to monitor the weather and climate of the Earth. Satellites can be polar, orbiting, covering the entire Earth 
asynchronously or geostationary hovering over the same spot on the equator. GPS Global Positioning System The system used to find locations, routes and maps. Satellites have improved our knowledge about space and even about our Earth. The system also used for navigation and tracking. Using satellites, you can find your position anywhere in the world accurate to 10 meter or less. Locating the position anywhere in the world satellite is called the Global Positioning System. Pakistan has shown tremendous work in the area of space science. Until now, five satellites have been sent to space with the help of different countries for a different purpose. Park SAT-1R, iCube-1, Badr-1, and two recently launched satellites called PRESS-1 and PAKTES-1A. PAK SAT-1R or PAK SAT-1 replacement is an advanced geosynchronous and communication satellite that was manufactured by China, Great Wall Industry Corporation and operated by the Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission, SPARCO, an executive space authority of the government of the Pakistan. The Park SAT-1R was developed and built as a geostationary telecommunication satellite and was launched from Zhejiang, China on 11 August 2011 through Long March 3B rocket. Badr-1, first artificial and the first digital communications satellite launched by Pakistan's Supreme National Space Authority, the Sparko, in 1990. The Badr-1 was Pakistan's first initially developed and manufactured digital communications and an experimental artificial satellite which was launched into low earth orbit by Pakistan on 16th July 1990 through a Chinese rocket carrier. iCube-1 is a miniaturized satellite built by the Institute of Space Technology in Pakistan with an objective to provide a wide range of future experiments in the domain of imaging, microgravity, nanotechnology, space dynamics and various other fields. It houses several sensors to collect data for scientific purpose. IQ-1 is a fully autonomous satellite and is capable of maintaining its health via its onboard computer. IQ-1 carries a camera with a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels. The satellite mission duration of two years and the satellite of this program IQ-1 is scheduled to be launched in November 2013. The Pakistan Remote Sensing Satellite 1, PRESS-1, commercially known as Remote Sensing Satellite System, is a dual-purpose Earth observational and optical satellite. Pakistan Remote Sensing Satellite 1, PRSS-1, was launched from China, Jukon Satellite Center on 9 July 2018. Pakistan Technology Evaluation Satellite PAKTES-1A is an indigenously developed remote sensing of space and upper atmosphere research commission. It was made by SPARCO and launched by China. The satellite was launched by Long March 2C rocket on 9 July 2018. Thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe to this channel.